Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Oakland Athletics and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Athletics is Brian Kingman, whose record is 7-8 with a 4.79 ERA. And pitching for Detroit today is Dave Rosma, whose record is 6-6. Six and six, with a 4.50 ERA. And so we're coming off the four game road sweep of the Brew Crew. Uh, we crushed them overall. <clears throat> we got our record back to five and five for the month of July. And we head back home with our heads held high. And we are facing the Oakland Athletics for the first time all season. So there's a lot to say about the uh, Oakland A's. They are in last place in the Western uh, Division. And so we should uh, take advantage of that. They've made a lot of trades this year, and so they don't have uh, a few of their better players. And we'll go over their lineup here shortly. But uh, all of our bullpen is available. We hardly had to use the, uh, any of our bullpen in the Brewers th uh, series. And our lineup today is the same as it was yesterday. Uh, everyone is uh, hitting well, getting on base, knocking in runs. So feel pretty good about that. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and do the A's lineup first. Oops, a little click there. And you'll over here on the right side, you'll see uh, their 1980 Topps baseball card representing the player for that uh, season. So, uh, betting leadoff and in right field today is Larry Murray. Betting second and at first base is Orlando Gonzalez. Betting third and in center field is Ricky Henderson. Betting cleanup and at third base is Wayne Gross. Betting fifth and DHing today is Dave Revering. Betting sixth and catching is Tim Hosley. Betting seventh and at short is Tony Phillips. Betting eighth and in left field is Derek Bryant. And batting ninth and at second base is Dave Edwards, Mike Edwards, pardon me. And pitching for Detroit today is Dave Rosma. As we mentioned earlier, this is, this is his 18th start. He's six and six with a 4.50 ERA. Opponent's batting average is 287. He hardly walks anyone, but he, he also uh, very seldom strikes anybody out. And uh, he's been solid. He's now in our number five spot in the rotation. Uh, now that Jack Billingham is actually on the Oakland Athletics, but he's in uh, AAA right now. And so we'll get the game started. Uh, Larry Murray, who's a switch hitter, leads off. Larry Murray is Eddie Murray's brother, if you didn't already know that. And Murray hits a line drive into right field, and Hancock has it for the first out of the game. Next up, with one down, is Orlando Gonzalez. And he grounds it weakly to Whitaker for the second out. And here it is, Ricky Henderson. You saw his uh, 1980 Topps baseball card. That is technically his rookie card. And uh, if you have one of those in any condition, it's worth a lot of money. As Henderson gets a base hit up the middle. And uh, we know that he is always ready to steal. He has uh, 39 stolen bases this year. And in real life, he had 100 in 1980. And there he goes. There's number 40 for Henderson. As he steals second and is in scoring position for Wayne Gross with two down. And Gross will ground it to first. And that's the final out of the top half of the inning. So we head to the bottom half. Here's the lineup for the Detroit Tigers leading off and playing second base is Lou Whitaker. 
batting second and playing shortstop today is Alan Trammell. Batting third and at third base is Richie Hebner. Batting cleanup and in left field, Steve Kemp. Batting fifth and catching today is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth and in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting seventh and DHing, Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk. Batting eighth and playing first base is Jason Thompson. And batting ninth and in center field is Omar Moreno. And on the mound for the A's is pitcher Brian Kingman. Kingman has uh, 19 starts. This is his 20th. His record is 7-8 and eight with a 4.79 ERA. His opponent's batting average is 279. He's given up 11 home runs so far in 127 innings. And so, uh, yeah, the one thing that Brian Kingman is most famous for is he was the last pitcher to lose 20 games, and he lost 20 in 1980 this season uh, until Mike Morath came around and lost uh, 21 in 19, I'm sorry, in 2002. As uh, Whitaker leads off the bottom half of the first by flying out to center field, Trammell is up next. He's going to ground it to second. And that is the second out. Here's Richie Hebner. And Hebner shoots it to left field for a base hit. Runner on first. Here's Steve Kemp in the cleanup spot today. And he walks. So runners at first and second. And a chance for Lance Parrish to get the Tigers off to a good start today. And he's going to hit a fly ball into the left center field. And it's caught by the left fielder for the third out. So we head to the top of the second. Dave Revering is leading off the in inning. And Revering gets a base hit to right field. And now we have a runner at first. Nobody out. Here's Tim Hosley. Tim Hosley was originally a Tiger. He was drafted by the Tigers. Hosley grounds it to second. Can't turn a double play as he just gets the lead runner at second base. And with one down, Tony Phillips comes to the plate. Tony Phillips is a rookie in 1980. Phillips grounds it to short. But uh, Phillips um, made a name for himself playing for the Tigers. He got to play every day and uh, became pretty solid uh, on-base percentage guy as Derek Bryant, Bryant strikes out for the third out. And we head to the bottom of the second inning with Gary Hancock leading off. And Hancock grounds it to second. So that's one down. And here's Carlton Fisk, who, uh, since the second half has started, he is back on a tear. He grounds it to first, and that is the second out. So two down. Here's number eight hitter, Jason Thompson. And Thompson squeaks it through the infield for a base hit. Thompson's batting average is up over 260 now. And here is the hottest hitter on the team, Omar Moreno. He's batting 600 since coming over from Detroit. And uh, he's been a pretty challenging out for every team so far. And in this at-bat, he grounds to short, and he is out at first. So we head to the top of the third. Rosma facing Mike Edwards, only at 25 pitches so far. And Edwards... Hits it right into the right center field gap. Almost gets to the wall. Edwards coasts into second base. And that is a double for uh, Mike Edwards. And I, I said Dave Edwards in the rundown. But Dave Edwards is actually his brother. So that's my bad. 
And I believe Dave, Dave Edwards also played for the A's at a different point in time. Uh, as Larry Murray flies out to left center field. So one out, runner at second base. Here's Orlando Gonzalez. He's got a 371 on base percentage. This guy does walk a lot. And he does steal from time to time as he grounds it right back to Rosma. Rosma goes to first as Edwards advances to third. And that's two down. And here's Ricky Henderson. Got a base hit the first time up and stole a base. He's batting only 249 versus righties. And he's going to get another base hit. He's two for two. That's going to knock in a run. And the A's take the lead. And once again, Henderson in a position to steal a bag. It's two down for Wayne Gross, only batting 232. There he is. There's a, the second stolen base for Ricky Henderson. And uh, once again, the A's have someone in scoring position. So it's an 0-1 count for Wayne Gross. And there's a next base hit right there. That'll score Henderson easily. And another RBI, and it's two to nothing with two down. And uh, Rosma's pitch count climbing to 47, and Revering drills it off the left center field wall. Gross has to stop at third. So second and third now for Tim Hosley. So Tigers are in a jam. Hosley pops it up to center field, and that is the third out. So the A's get on the board. Score is two to nothing. We head to the bottom of the third inning. Back to the top of the lineup with Sweet Lou. Whitaker's batting 291 versus righties. He takes a third strike looking. That's the first K for Kingman. So one down for Tram. Trammell shoots it to first. And uh, it's caught by the first baseman, Gonzalez. So two down. And here's Richie Hebner. He's got one of the two Tigers hits today. And he walks. So it's the second time on base. And uh, that will give Kemp an opportunity here with two outs. And Kemp just gets his bat on it, grounds it to short. And that is the third out of the inning. So we head to the top of the fourth. Two nothing. Oakland, and here is Tony Phillips leading off the inning. Phillips grounds it right past Hebner, and it's a base hit for Phillips. Runner on first. Phillips has decent speed as well. Here's uh, Derek Bryant, who struck out his first time up, and he's going to pop it up to Trammell. Trammell's got it on the outfield grass. And that is one out. And here's Mike Edwards. Edwards grounds it to Whitaker. Could not turn the double play. Edwards has excellent speed also. And so two down. Back to the top of the lineup for Larry Murray. Only batting 187 overall in the year. Edwards grounds it right back to Rosemont. And that is the third out. So here we go to the bottom of the fourth. Where's that offense that we had all throughout the uh, Brewers series? Hasn't showed itself yet as Parrish gets a base hit to right field to start off the bottom of the fourth. So runner at first base. And here's Gary Hancock. Had a pretty solid series with a home run against the Brewers. And he gets a base hit there. Parrish will stop at second. So first and second. Nobody out still. And here's Carlton Fisk. If it wasn't for Moreno, Fisk would be the hottest hitter on the team right now. And he's going to hit a lazy fly ball to center. And, uh, wow, Henderson Henderson did not have a strong arm in the outfield, that's for sure. Um, yeah, we're going to risk it. We're down two, only one out, so we're going to say yes. And Parrish is safe at third base. So with uh, Thompson betting 282 versus righties, we're going to have him hit and run. Let's get these uh, base runners going to avoid a double play. And that'll work with the base hit to left field. Parrish scores. 
Hancock advances to third. And there's runners at first and third now with one out. Bringing it up Omar Marino. If you take a look at the outfield uh, defensive ratings for the Oakland A's, uh, both uh, the left fielder and the center fielder are below average. Uh, I know that Ricky Henderson's in center field, but he didn't play center in real life. He played uh, left field. So it's kind of weird. I don't know if that's just an anomaly in the game based on what he did in 1979. And as I'm talking, Omar Moreno gets a base hit to right field. And that scores the second run of the game. So it's all tied up at two. One out, runner at first and third. And we're going to give them a taste of their own medicine as uh, Moreno's going to try to steal second base. And Moreno is successful, so runners at second and third. Here's Sweet Lou. He's 0 for 2 so far today. Oh, and Lou strikes out with an opportunity to give the Tigers the lead. And uh, that's the second K for Whitaker in this game, and the second for Kingman. So um, not a good game so far for Sweet Lou as Trammel gets a hold of one. Drives it down the right field line. Uh, we're not going to stretch that for a double. We're going to take those two RBIs, though. And uh, we have retaken the lead at 4-2. to two. And uh, Trammell's at first base. Two down. Here's Hebner. Hebner has not been put out so far today. And he won't miss a bet as he gets a base hit to left field. Trammell goes to third. And the score is still 4-2, to two, and that's uh, the eighth hit against Brian Kingman. And six hits this inning alone. So here's Steve Kemp with two down runners at first and third, and he gets a base hit to left field. Trammell scores. That's the fifth run. Hebner uh, stays at second on the bag there, and we've put a five spot up with seven hits this inning. And here's Parrish. With two down, Parrish walks. So the bases are loaded for Gary Hancock, who's uh, got a 520 slugging percentage against righties. And one big blast right now would put the game away, I think. And there's a base hit to right field. We'll take a base hit. Two runs score. And that's going to be it for Kingman as... Uh, He's given up seven runs and ten hits. They're going to bring in the lefty, Mark Souza. And we'll take a look at Souza. He is in his ninth game of the season. He's a 26-year-old rookie with a 3.12 ERA. Opponent's batting average at 242 and actually been pretty solid overall. So, uh, but he's going to be facing Carlton Fisk, who's batting 345 versus lefties. So this is right in Fist's wheelhouse, but he's going to ground it to first. And that is the third out of the inning. So we put seven runs on the board, score seven to two. And uh, Rosema is at 64 pitches. So he's actually probably about 15 pitches from his max as Gonzalez grounds it to third to lead off the top of the fifth. That's the first out. And here's Ricky Henderson, who's been terrorizing the base paths. And finally, he puts it in the air. And that's going to be in left center field. And it's caught by Kemp for the second out. So two down. Here is Wayne Gross. And Gross is going to hit a home run to right field on a line drive. That's his team-leading 12th home run. And uh, despite only having a 206 batting average. He's got 12 dingers, so he's still contributing. So two down. Score is 7-3. to three. Here's uh, Dave Revering. And Revering is going to get a base hit to center. Oh, and he goes for a second. Uh, he goes for, for second base, and he's safe. As Moreno must have been lollygagging out there. And uh, Revering with his... 74 speed makes it to second. So uh, two down, and here's Tim Hosley. Hosley gets a base hit past Hebner, and that's going to score the fourth run. 
So now, after getting the first two outs, I'm just hoping that Rosma can get through this. So two down, here's Tony Phillips. And Hosley, the catcher, steals second base. And now we have another runner in scoring position. We're going to pull the outfield in. We need to prevent a runner from scoring from third. And Phillips is going to strike out to end the inning. So the home run by uh, Gross and the um, heads-up base running by Revering gives the A's two more runs, scores 7-4. to four. And we go to the bottom of the fifth, and now it's lefty on lefty with uh, JT. He's uh, only betting 167 versus lefties, but he's been putting the ball in play fairly decently against them as he grounds out for the first out of the inning. So one down for Omar Moreno. He had a two RBIs in his last at bat. And in this one, he's gonna line out to right. So that's two down. And we're back to the top of the lineup with Sweet Lou, who's having a rough game with two Ks. And that's his third strikeout of the game. That is so uncharacteristic of uh, Whitaker. So we head to the top of the sixth, and now uh, Rosma is going to be on a short leash. We've got two righties coming up, the eighth and ninth hitter. So we'll see if we can get those guys out as uh, Bryant sends a fly ball into right field, and Hancock has it for the first out. So there's one down. And here's number nine hitter, Mike Edwards. He's batting 326 versus righties. Uh, in this situation, he flies out to right, and that's two down. So here's the light-hitting Larry Murray. We're going to let Rosma pitch to him, even though he's officially tired. And Murray grounds it to second, and that's the third out. So a good job by Rosma. That's going to be the end for him. And uh, we're going to go ahead and switch over the stats now to the in-game stats, so you can take a look and see uh, how everything is playing out so far while Revering is 3-for-3. Three three. He's been unstoppable. So here's Tram. He's, be, he's uh, leading off the bottom of the sixth. Trammell is one for three with two RBIs today. And make that two for four as he gets a base hit to left field. And he's got a chance to stretch it for a double. Yeah, why not? He's got a 65 arm, a 50-50 shot. We're up by three. Boom. He's out in second. <laughs> Oh, I got cocky, and uh, Trammell gets thrown out by the noodle arm in left field. So one down, and uh, Richie Hebner comes to the plate to face Sousa. Sousa grounds it to, or I'm sorry, Hebner grounds it too short, and that's two outs. So two down for Steve Kemp, and Kemp's going to go down swinging, so Sousa pitching very effectively here. So three of the next four batters are lefties. We're going to take out Rosemo. And we're going to bring in Pat Underwood. And Underwood has been decent against righties this season. And let's see. So Hebner batted. So I'm taking Hebner out for Tommy Brookins, defensive replacement. Okay. So, uh, here it is, Underwood versus Gonzalez, and Gonzalez is going to hit on a line to center field, Marino can't get it, and Gonzalez gets a double, and so Marino's been suspect in center field, he had the error yesterday's game, and uh, he's let a couple get by him here. So, runner at second, nobody out, here's... Ricky Henderson. And Henderson's going to get a base hit to right field. That'll score Gonzalez. No, Gonzalez is held at third. They are down by three runs, so it's not uh, worth taking a risk. Um, man, the oper I'm, I'm afraid that Henderson's going to steal. Um, I'm going to bring the corners in. We don't need to uh, prevent that run from scoring, but just trying to get him uh, jammed up, but it didn't work as Gross gets a base hit to center. And uh, this has been a nightmare of an inning so far for Underwood. 
This is his last batter that he's going to face. He's got none of the lefties out. So here's Dave Revering, nobody out, and Revering's going to go down swinging. So a terrible performance from Pat Underwood. And we're going to bring in Roger Weaver. We'll save Tobik for the eighth if we need it. And we need a double play. So uh, Tim Hosley comes to the plate. Oh, no, and Weaver box. And that means the tying run is at second base. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so now we've got to bring the infield in, the whole infield. We've got to prevent any more runs from being scored. Hosley grounds it to Brookins at third, and they do go home to get Henderson at the plate. So two down. Here's a switch hitter Tony Phillips. Again, he's a rookie this year. He's betting 238 versus righties. And we've almost got out of the sitting. There we go. Weaver strikes out. Phillips looking. And we get out of that jam that Underwood created. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Score seven to five. And Parrish is going to lead off the inning. And he walks. Other than the seventh spot we put up in the fourth, we've been quiet. And uh, so Parrish is at first base. Hancock only batting 138 versus lefties, but he's gotten a few hits lately as he sends a high fly ball into right center field. Larry Murray has it for the first out. So that brings up Fisk, who does hit lefties well. He's 0 for 1 against Sousa today, though. And he grounds it to first. Is that going to be two? Yep. We got two catchers running. It's pretty much a guaranteed double play. So uh, we go to the top of the eighth. I'm going to let Weaver pitch to these uh, righties. And Bryant grounds it to second. That's one down. So that brings up Mike Edwards. One for three today. Edwards is going to ground it right over the bag at second for a base hit. And now there is one out runner at first. Larry Murray comes to the plate. He's 0 for 4 today. And he's now got a base hit as he gets a hit just past Trammell at short. And we're in a jam again. So we're going to bring in our lefty specialist, George Capizello. Here's Cappy's stats. I forgot to show you Weaver's and Underwood's now that I think about it. But here's Cappy. He's a... Uh, 24 games, 1.96 ERA, a 239 opponent's batting average, and uh, doesn't walk many. He's got a pretty good strikeout ratio. And we're going to need it here against uh, Gonzalez, who's only batting 194. Gonzalez is going to ground it right to uh, Trammell, and they get the runner at second. They cannot turn two. And so now we have uh, two down. And here's Ricky Henderson who just crushes lefties, but we got two lefties coming up. So uh, we're going to guard the lines. And uh, we're going to pitch to Henderson. Let's see what happens. Oh, Capizello comes up big, striking out Henderson looking. And uh, put a goose egg up on the board there as we head to the bottom of the eighth, seven to five. Souza is still in there. He's pitched 3.1 innings, only given up one hit. And uh, that is because our lefties do not hit lefties well, as Thompson takes a walk. So runner at first. And uh, we're going to sack Bunt with Moreno. We're going to surprise them with a bunt since they're playing back. Moreno drops it down to third. And Thompson is safe at second. So one down. Runner in scoring position for Lou, who, is, if anybody, is due today. He's 0 for 4 with three strikeouts. And he walks. And uh, they're going to take out Souza now with runners at first and second. They're going to bring in Ernie Camacho. Camacho is originally in Oakland Day. He's probably most uh, remembered for being uh, the closer for Cleveland. But he's been in 22 games, 3 0 record. Oh my gosh, his ERA is 8.53. And uh, more walks than strikeouts. So 
not great, and I like our odds. Here's Trammel. One down, runners at first and second. And Trammel grounds it weakly to short, and there's another double play just like that. So uh, this is normally where I would bring in the closer, but I think we need to let uh, Capazella pitch these two lefties. Um, our defense is good. Se seven to five. And uh, Wayne Gross comes to the plate and he pops it straight up. That's as high as his home run was far. And that's one down. So here's Dave Revering. And Revering will ground it to Trammell. There's two down. I'm going to give Capazello a chance at a well-earned save. Here's Tim Hosley, who's one for four with an RBI today. And Hosley will ground it to Whitaker, and we've got ourselves a five-game winning streak. As the Tigers beat the A's seven to five, we'll uh, take a look at the transactions here. Nothing uh, of note other than uh, Jack Clark, who's listed as a third baseman, uh, gets a five-year extension for $590,000 from the uh, San Francisco Giants. That's his original team. Uh, yeah, he's a right fielder. I'm not sure what he's doing playing third base in this game, but he's got a good rating, so, you know. I can't always explain why things happen here. Let's pull up the box score. We'll get out of here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. And uh, let's see who the player of the game will be today. So the Tigers, uh, we have a few contributors. It looks like Trammell or Hancock is the most deserving. Oof, that's a tough call. We're going to go ahead and give it to Trammell. And uh, for no other reason other than I, <laughs> I think he deserves it. And uh, Dave Roseman gets the win. He gets his record over 500. He's 7-6. and six. And Cappy gets his first save on the year. Uh, Brian Kigman gets the, his ninth loss with Wayne Gross having his uh, 20th home run. I'm sorry, 12th home run. And so that's it from Tiger Stadium. We'll be back tomorrow with game two of the three-game series. Everyone have a great night.